Right, Reggie, Robert, whatever you want to be called, at home with the Blackistons to cook a turkey, one of your wonderful Godwick turkeys. The main thing about these, apart from the flavour, is the fact that they're free, totally free range. I've been to the farm, I've seen them at source, I've seen them in their natural state, and I was totally blown away. And I've always had a Godwick's turkey. I've always had it. And it's the flavour. It's just something very special about it. I only have turkey once a year and it's always from you. So it makes it just a no-brainer for me to, to have a Godwick's turkey. Anyway, so when I go and pick it up from you, and I always do this because it's becoming a tradition now because everybody floods to your farm and picks your turkey up, you get a box. It may not be a box exactly like this, but it's a lovely box. And you get a recipe sheet. Chuck that away. Is that including me? Anyway, and you get your turkey along with the giblets. If you want sausage meat, you provide sausage meat. Can, and the yeah. sausage meat is for the stuffing, obviously. And then you get this beauty. So bring him out. This is a five kilo turkey. So it's quite a small turkey. Um, but that will still serve between eight and ten people, would you say? Easily, yeah. Yeah. Plenty of rosemary, which is nice. And there we are. What I tend to do, and I do this the night before, is really just trim it up a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I just think it helps with the, with the sauce or gravy whatever you want to call it, as chefs call it, jus. Uh, take that. This is just going to be an addition for the jus. Trim that up a little bit. And then, bear with me. Right, so, I always, I don't know how you do it at home, because I should imagine you're quite a good cook with a turkey at home. I started off like that. Spot on. And then plenty of butter. It's about the only thing myself and my Yorkshire friend have in common. <laughs> He's slavering it with butter. And be generous with it. So I'll start off on this side. be generous so for a turkey like this I reckon it will take a pack of butter yeah okay sometimes actually for ease of service I will take the wishbone out then you can just carve straight down but I think for people at home that's just an added complication that maybe they'll hack at it and it's probably best just to show it just simply like this with plenty of butter on and seasoning lots of seasoning I think the thing to also say here, Goldman, is because yeah. they are dry plucked yeah. and game hung, we have to have considerable maturity. Yes. So these are 26, 27 weeks old. Yeah. So they've laid down a certain amount of natural condition anyhow. Yes. So they, Brilliant. In a way, they are sort of self-basting. Yeah. Um, you know, because they've got that age about them. And yeah. obviously, you know, they've been... Game hung as well. Game hung. Which, um, you know, all adds to the, the flavour. Yeah, absolutely. That was the thing that got me most importantly about these, these birds, is the flavour of them. You can see the width of the breasts as well. Is this, a, this is a black turkey is it, or a bronze that turkey? That one's a bronze. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a bronze. But, you, you know, the, the blacks and the bronze, they, you know, we more or less the same sort of size. Yeah. The only thing I would say is that the black just have a slightly different graining texture to the meat. Mm -hmm. It's a slower finishing bird to the to the bronze. Um, so they sort of mature right. The, they they sort they sort of stroll through and they do it all at the last minute. Yeah. Whereas a bronze is just finishes a little bit yeah. earlier. Okay. Right. So your turkey is now ready, and I would do that as I say the night before. Get it ready. Get it in your tray. So the only thing you've got to do to, on Christmas Day is get it into the oven. I think one of the problems a lot of people have with turkey is overcooking a turkey. Um, 
I remember in days gone by when my parents used to cook a turkey, they'd cook it for hours and hours and hours. I think a bird like this, hour and a half, two hours, will be sufficient. And then the important thing is, is the resting time. I think a, a tur you can rest a turkey for a good half an hour, I would have said, um, whilst you then can, you know, carry on with your vegetables and all that sort of thing. But, so into the, into the oven. Okay, so I've had this out for a few minutes, five minutes-ish. And that's had plenty on that underside. So now I'm turning it over. I'm just going to baste it. And all this lovely butter, caramelizing butter. It smells fantastic. But I'm going to put some tin foil over the top of it and I'm going to turn the oven down because this will take at least another hour of cooking. Okay. So make a parcel of it. And now I'm going to turn it, put it into a slightly lower oven. Okay. 